Let me sync that up by moving it down to roster. I <laughs> missed. <laughs> That's me, right now. Well, back here with Fire Emblem Three Houses, where things are still sad. I realized that last time I forgot to uh, look in my journal of wonders to at the, all the notes that I had, which I don't think were many. <laughs> I have exactly one note <laughs> on this entire page. That's the wrong page. No, it is. Yeah, it's just very <laughs> at the top there. And it is thus. Uh, if this goes for all Switch games, but basically this is the Switch game I've been playing the most right lately. The setting for RGB. Uh, it stands for red, green, and blue, for those who are not aware. On my Switch, uh, I had it set to automatic for a time, which seems like the most uh, sensible choice to me, generally, uh, and because I, I think the idea, I don't know specifically how all this works, but I think the idea between giving you the option between a full range and a limited range of colors um, may be that I think the idea is that certain monitors or TVs won't necessarily be able to actually use the full range of colors. So if you set it to the full range of colors, it would look really weird or something like that. So you can set it to a limited, more uh, washed out kind of range of colors if you don't want the picture to look weird on a certain monitor or whatever. And automatic tries, tries to naturally detect what kind of, whether your monitor can handle the full range or not and set it to whatever the most appropriate thing. But I noticed that in between episodes, even of this very game, if you look through some of the episodes, in some of them, the colors are washed out and then some of them, they're really vibrant. So for whatever reason, my, my Switch can't decide whether, <laughs> what setting my monitors to be set to whenever I put it on automatic, so I decided to just leave it on full range. And I, th and I think I've noticed it occasionally looks a little um, too vibrant at some at, in some instances and kind of gets sort of too bright or something. But for the most part, it seems to be better to have to leave it on this uh, by the by my reckoning. I don't know if you've been noticing it or not. Ooh, flower seeds. I should have been planting those. That's all the, the only note I've got there um, in my book. As for what I did in between last episode and now, we are once again broke. <laughs> I, I uh, got all the fish, uh, fished up a whole bunch of fish, sold them all for about 9,000 gold, and then I spent that all on weapon upgrades and other things. And I also only figured out, uh, thought at the very end to j use one of my activity points on uh, a battle, like a training, you know, the, the competitions. I used the rest of them on, uh, I made the defense dish with to do, and then I had a bunch of meals with everybody for a bunch of professor level. And my professor level is now, uh, there's a way to check it, right? Right, it's um, on my bio page. Yeah, we got, we're, we're like fair, uh, pretty far along on, on to the next um, level of that. Ooh, and did I already give to do the ALL pomegranate? Uh, no, I did not. Let me do that now. To bring his dexterity up to a whopping, uh, give, uh, use. Oh, no, 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 no. To bring his dexterity up to a whopping 18. Oh, okay, it's not actually that much. <laughs> but still, that's much better to increase his uh, crits all around. Sorry, so I got I got sidetracked on a lot of things there. What did I do? So I, I bought a, got a, fished up a bunch of fish, sold it all for a bunch of money. Uh, the activities I did, right. I had a meal, uh, made of food with to do, and then had a bunch of meals with everybody uh, for a bunch of professor level, which is what I was checking there. And then I did the tournament, and I only realized at the end that those give you money. So if I'm low on money, I should be doing lots and lots of tournaments, because I think you, they give you money each time. So fool that I am, I only say, is that, say that till the end. So we're still a little uh, broke on, uh, here, so I might want to be prioritizing using magic for a little bit because they magic doesn't break <laughs> and doesn't cost money to replenish. But all in all, we did uh, we bumped up a few weapons, just repaired a few, uh, and then I think we we did actually increase some of them. And we repaired his killer bow because it was frail. We bumped up his woe dow, so now the crit is is plus forty for that. So if you can, I actually have you equip that now, and now can I check what what your active crit is? I can't, but uh, it, it'll be something like. If it was, we were getting like 57 every time with him before, right? So now that'll be like 67 with the Wo Dao, which is pretty great. Didn't give too many new weapons to Felix because he hasn't used them much and he's mostly been doing magic and he hasn't been doing much melee anyways because he's very squishy. You're still, your defense is still like seven, right? 12, okay. Oh, right, because I had the dish. So what is it normally? It doesn't say. It's like 10 or something. Ash, I didn't uh, jack up any weapons because he still can't even use these. Sylvain, I don't think I messed with any, nor did I with you. Still haven't buffed this up because it's 3,000 gold plus like eight black sand steel each black sand steel costs three is it 300 gold yes so 300 times eight is it's uh 2400 plus a 3000 cost so it's 5400 gold uh gold sorry just to bump those and she can't even use them yet so i, I won't worry about that for now i repair oh no i didn't repair your training axe i repaired your killer axe because that's uh, that was at three because remember we were getting all those crazy lightning axe crits with it and then i uh increased tomahawk so now it's i think it does more damage but also the the higher durability is more my the thing i care about didn't bump up any of yours oh i should replace your steel sword plus with a silver sword, shouldn't I? Because I actually, I, I forged up a rusted sword into a silver sword for only 500 gold. Although, you can also forge silver swords into uh, brave swords later on. 
So I might want to do that. Well, I mean, I could do it now if I had the Woot Steel, but I spent it all on the Tomahawk. I uh, didn't jack up anything of yours. I have put your Straining Sword up to plus, and I think that's it for all the weapon stuff we did. Oh, winning the tournament gave us, uh, and what kind of seal was it? Advanced, I think, which was, um, the level 10 ones. So I, in other words, the ones, um, just before, no, wait. Wait, which ones are advanced? <laughs> oh, never mind. Advanced are the ones that we need currently. So that's that's great that we got that. So we'll be able to bump up uh, some more people there. I have a few supports right now. I have um, Manuela and Flame have one. And I have one with some people from the Golden Deer because I was having dinner with them. Raphael and Marianne. And I'm going to make the active decision to not do those just yet because I got to get cracking on these missions because we're going to be doing a lot of them uh, this month because we have four open slots and all. By four open slots, I mean we have two battle days that I'm going to be taking to battle and two battles to do on those two battle days. So four slots for battles. And I'm probably going to do the rare monster sighting this time and then one of the paralogs, then two paralogs next uh, week. And then the rest of the paralogs will do uh, the next month. But first, it is time to teach up uh, everyone who is all fully, mo everyone's all fully motivated, which is great. I'm gonna start with Melnoel and Flane again because they're uh, new recruits and behind. It's gonna kick up your bow a whole bunch. You're so good at teaching that you make me jealous. Ah, well, you know what they say yes. when you're all grief-stricken, you tar each people archery better. That's what they say. I always was a quick study. And now you, there's proof. What now? Do I get a reward? You do not. There you go. D plus bowmanship is your reward. Archery bowmanship. As for you, I think probably riding is, is the priority number one. Oh, can I check the cert- oh, I can't check what certifications need now, because I think you do need lance- a bit of lance for Dark Knight? Not sure. Either way, riding is very far behind compared to that, so let's get this up anyways. D plus! Ha! Ah! Yes, good shout. And to do, I haven't been uh, helping you out very much with your mounted pursuits here, so I better- I guess I better do that. Still well pleased with your sword and bow results, though, so- I'll just bump your uh, horsey a bunch so that we can eventually get your dex buff because we really, really, really want that. I Nicely done! Exactly. Dimitri's bow is still B+, plus, and it'll be- and we're keeping you a sniper till the end of the game, I think, more or less, so the only thing I would be getting for you right now would be uh, riding and heavy armor, probably. I guess I could give you a bit of bow. Uh, let me hold off on that for now. So I have three points, Ingrid, Annie, Mercedes, Ash, Felix, Dimitri. I think I probably want Annie and Mercy's uh, brawling up because we're reaching the time where we might be getting the Aura Gauntlets sometime soon. And you've already got the Killer Gauntlets, which you can't use just yet. I'm not dissatisfied with your magic really right now. Uh, I don't know how much riding you need for Holy Knight though, so I should def I should start taking that into account. As for you, sort of feeling similarly, I don't really need your weapons up. I guess I could get your Lance up. That's probably a good idea. And Felix, I'm feeling all right for you. Do I have your sword set as one of your priorities? I don't. So I'm gonna do Annette and Mercedes for their brawling and I think Ash for his Lance. That's probably what we'll do here. I'll just dump it all in brawling, I think. Um, how's your heavy armor? You're doing great. Should be able to get you up to C plus this time, which is not, in fact, B, you all note, but <laughs> it is closer. Now that you actually have a weakness to brawling, which is very good. I somehow thought Mercedes did, I guess just because she has weakness to have most other melee, uh, physical weapons. There we go. So both of your brawling has uh, been uh, taking a significant increase there, and Ash, let's just get, uh, we could probably get your lance up even this time. Oh, and we can get your lance um, closer to your lance uh, like mastery budding talent thing, which could, uh, as we've seen with others uh, in this playthrough, could be really, really randomly cool skills. There's so much left to learn. Ah, uh, yes. There's a star. Can I go to inventory right now? Oh no, I gotta do this other thing. Let me just verify all goals are where they are needing to be. I suppose I could swap out your one of your magics for sword, but both neither of them are terribly far, so I guess that's not a good idea. Because I started the faith late, and I think you have a weakness to reason. Is that right? Nope, I'm wrong. It was a budding talent, so you actually have a very incredible strength to it. Wait, the only thing you have a weakness to is authority? Wow. And the only thing Ash has a weakness to is reason, actually. So these are both, the, both of these two lads are very capable. And then I've been I've been raising you only in, in brawling because you're always with an axe and you're always increasing heavy armor because you're in heavy armor. So I think I'm fine to keep doing that. Don't really need your sword up so high. I mean, it would be nice for the, cr the, the crazy critical swords we have on you, but that'll happen eventually. In Flane, I've currently got you just set to black magic and horsing. That's probably fine. And you, those are two are probably fine as well. Good. Well, it looks good. I want to ask you. Ask away, fire away. Hey, maybe you can answer a question I've had for a while now. Why is it that men don't like women who are messy? It's not true, actually. You wouldn't want a messy man either. Nobody likes a mess. Men have unrealistic <laughs> expectations. Um, this is probably the most accurate. Uh, nobody likes a mess. That's not true. <laughs> there are plenty of people who are fine living in messy. You wouldn't want a messy man either. That's very presumptuous. 
Men have unrealistic expectations. It seems like you just know everything. It's what being a teacher is all about. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most teachers will confirm they know everything. While I find healing to be important and necessary, there are times when I feel it is insufficient. To be truly useful, I would like to improve in offensive magic as well, so my training can involve a balance of reason and faith. Good strategic thought process, but I've already decided your class for you. <laughs> Curious to know how Marianne is doing. Oh, okay. Uh, then we can talk to Marianne later. <laughs> we can always do that when we're on the man monastery anyways. No, Raphael, go! <laughs> Guys, I'm busy! <laughs> I said I would do your thing in a later mission. I think we make a good pair. <laughs> we must give it our all. You're both doing fabulously. Well, your writing will increase incredibly. On. Tell us how great we did. Fabulously, I just said. Is that perfect then? Nicely done, you two. And the gold for that we get. Yeehaw! Well, that worked out. Restore! Oh, that's the, um, status effect one, right? So that's, that'll be nice, potentially. Together. Especially because Felix is going to be hanging around a lot of people because he's a support character. So he's he's always going to be near people who are in trouble anyways. And brawling up for you. Nice. And to do got up his horse and very well done, everybody. Time to beat some stuff up. Oh, St. Saros is day. All right, let's go singing. I don't usually, but because I'm grief stricken. <laughs> Am I doing all right? I hope I'm not too off. You're doing stupendously, Ash. Your voice is beautiful. I'm not sure I should sing with everyone. I'm not great at harmonizing. <laughs> I don't think you're talking about singing, are you? Great. Oh, actually, that was a good I call because um, the faith experience is necessary for those two. Even though I don't, uh, doesn't matter as much for me. I still have much. To <laughs> Great. I'm better at faith. I won't be using that skill, the, the, those new teachings whatsoever. Oh, <laughs> how funny that Rhea's birthday should be on Saint Sarah's Day. I guess let's have tea. Uh, tea of the saints makes enough sense. I'm pleased to have been invited. Sure thing. I am grateful. No, I thought this would have been your favorite, considering this is the one you uh, insisted we use the first time you uh, took me out to tea. Ba 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 do do. You're doing great work. The idea, Professor, exploring the monastery. Oh, this is hard. These are all seem like. No, she probably doesn't want to talk about work. Uh, maybe she does. Uh, exploring the monastery. Okay. Yes. <sighs> Evaluating allies, fashion, things that bother you. She has a lot of things that bother her. <laughs> like heretics! <laughs> um, <laughs> you seem different, mighty weapons, dreamy knights. Oh. Hmm? Of course. Nice. Of, of course I seem different, naturally. Nat, sorry. For, forgive me for ever doubting you. What did I, I talk about? I sense great potential in you. You possess something extraordinary. <laughs> is, it this, is it this sword made of bones? <laughs> Nod. Sure, sure I do. Uh, commend. Sigh. Uh, yeah, I contain great potential. <laughs> Damn, it seems so arrogant. Your forehead! What does it say today? This crown is rather... Yes, we heard this last time, I'm pretty sure. Just take this rose and leave I me alone. How Bye. Quickly this delightful time has passed. Happy birthday. However, we must return to our work. On your birthday? Man. Whatever, at least I'm getting charisma for that, hopefully. Yeah! Ray doesn't get charisma. No charisma for you. Oh. It's always so grounding to just come back here and I'm all like... I always forget that she's just gonna be standing there sad. So these are all available until uh, next month. So I don't feel the need to get them all done this um, month. So I'm going to do this one for sure before these. Um, and we're gonna do either True Chivalry or Oil and Water next. Let's do Oil and Water because that sounds like a lot of fun. But we'll start with this hard battle here. And I'll, I'll try and be quiet for most of it because this is not gonna be terribly interesting. It's just gonna be another uh, monster fight. So I'll just hush up for most of it, I think. But we'll get a lot of money from it, which means we'll be able to, blah, which will mean we'll be able to repair a bunch of weapons and junk. Ah, uh, who am I gonna take though? Is anyone level 22? No, but we have a few level 21s. And uh, farthest along in level 21 is, oh, it's actually Ingrid still, so I guess we won't take her again. And she can still need support with uh, Dimitri and Sylvain. So I'll bring her with uh, Dimitri again, like I did before. I'm gonna swap um, Flane's authority out for Rally Luck. Just see how we go with that. Probably won't use it very much, but might be handy once and tw or twice to avoid crits or whatever. Oh, I never gave him Sword Dance. It's only two durability, plus one might, and a whole bunch of dodge. That could probably be pretty good. And might actually, it's, it might also increase his base on his charisma, which since I bumped him a whole bunch in that because he's dancer now, would be pretty cool. Um, probably cooler than Grounder. And start level up for Flame. Strength, yes, and Dex and Res. That's cool. cool, and not the things I would have expected. Hoot steel, yay! It's in. So we're up to C for to, uh, to do. Wait, C? Did I get that right? Yeah, C plus rather. Sorry, my battalion levels up. Ooh, oh, I like those stats, even though I don't like the gamut very much. Love, love for Amon. Well, uh, some strength and dex. I'd like. 
Magic and Dex, cool. The speed, though, also. The magic doesn't matter. matter. Well, Hexblade, but doesn't mostly matter. Level up for any Defense and magic I'd like. Ooh. Oh, man. A whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, magic we got. And I, I didn't expect her to be getting as many crits as she was, but with the, that killer axe, the, the decks will also be handy to just absolutely maximize our crit uh, chances. Mercy. Level up. Some strength and defense, maybe? Oh, now that I can sword, it, but that'll do. Brawling up to C plus for Mercy to do level 21. Strength, luck, charisma, and health. Wowzy. It says at 47, even without the health plus 5 thing? My god, man. Some health, dex, and speed for Dimmy to close it all off. What a su successful training mission. 9,000 gold! What a hell of a successful training mission, everybody. Didn't realize we got that much for it. My god. Now it's starting to be a leg up in the days to come. And no delay, let's jump right into oil and water. The jumping right in starts now. <laughs> it's raining, Professor. You don't like the rain? On rainy days, the wound I got from the Death Knight hurts like fire. Oh, is that right? Why? Was it raining the day of, or just... Every time it aches, I get angry. You understand, yeah? I mean, well enough. I'm sure they have their reasons to kidnap Flame, but still... <laughs> I don't know that you should ever start a sentence that way, but... Did they really need to stab me? what I have to do with it? <laughs> they ruined my beautiful porcelain skin. Worse, they took off before I could stab them back. So rude. Well, to be fair, you were kind of passed out. I stabbed them a few times for you. Enough, Manuela. Cease your moaning and give the professor a break. If it's it's all the same to you, uh, Hanneman, I found it pretty entertaining. Oh, stop it, Hanneman. Unlike you, the professor has a big heart <laughs> and listens to me talk about any problem I have. Oh, I love these two so much. <laughs> likely, your incessant ramblings offer no chance to interrupt. Is that true, professor? That, uh, uh, <laughs> Manuel isn't bothering me. I knew it. You listen to me because you care about me, don't you? Well, that is not a hard solve, but. <laughs> uh, go away, Hanneman. Leave us alone. And stop making me shout. It causes the old wound to hurt again. <laughs> and perhaps you'd best stay quiet. Ooh! <laughs> Shots fired! I'd say. This is making me feel a lot better about my dead father, guys. <laughs> Let's all get along. Oh, don't worry, Professor. We do this all the time. No, no, that's what worries me. <laughs> Manuela and I do not mix well. Been true for years. That said, if it were up to me, I would prefer speaking to her in a calmer manner. It's not like right. I enjoy bickering with you. Ah, it's starting to seem that way, though. Keep your mouth shut more often. Ouch. I state that which needs to be heard. For example... Let's all get along. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Same, same. <laughs> Apologies. I am here because I have new information on the Death Knight's hiding place. There's a sitcom somewhere in here. <laughs> really? You could have started with that. Several students have reported possible sightings on the western edge of the sealed forest. Well, dang, that's not far. The authenticity of these reports has yet to be verified. It is still a very real possibility. You know bringing this up means Manuel is going to go there immediately, right? I was thinking I would report this to Seth as a precaution. What? Why? We can't be slow. He's going to get away. Protocol <laughs> on this matter requires reporting to Seth. Then Lady Rhea. Then Professor, let's leave this old geezer behind and get going. I don't think that's a great idea. Geezer, I am barely fifteen years your senior. <laughs> I will not hear such. Stop talking. Let's gather a team and get going. Yes, ma'am. We're on our way. I agree. I'll go scout ahead. I'm coming for you, Death Knight. No, no, I don't like that idea. Well, oh, okay. She's gone. Do to get yourself killed without someone to avenge you. I don't think you're prioritizing here, Mon Hanneman. It would not do to get yourself killed, period. <laughs> don't die. That's the problem. Oh, dear. Well, this is going to be a bloodbath. And, of course, it's this map, which I uh, always have difficulty with and never recall. Manuela has, in her scouting, gone ahead and gotten herself stuck right here. It's a little bit of a shame because I haven't been classing her or training her very defensively. I haven't even bumped her off of commoner. It's such a shame because I've been I've been wanting to do archer, but I haven't had her in archery enough for that. Although she's D plus now, so she could probably have a crack at it anyways, but I need a steal. Anyways, um, enough about that. She can handle herself with hex just spamming Hexblade with killer uh, swords for a bit, I think. Wait, does she have enough sword to do killer uh, the Wodao? 
no, never mind. Nor the killer bow. So actually, um, damn it. <laughs> Whatever, Hexblade, she should be able to handle herself enough. How many people were bringing? We only got seven? So these six and then Manuela, what? So I only get to pick four <laughs> of the people from, uh, who are not, oh man. Okay, so we definitely want Ash for stride. I mean, unless we put stride on someone else, but I don't want to mix things up because I'll forget. And perhaps, do we want one of our other, uh, I guess Sylvain uh, also to be healing, to, to heal Manuela from afar? Should it come to that? So there's an idea. That's already two of our allotted. Oh, bugger, okay. Because speed is of the essence, I think we probably should also bring Felix so he can dance people to move again. And then I think we just want to bring one really heavy hitter. So it's going to be Annette or Dimitri or Dudu, I think. Or maybe Mercedes. I would do Mercedes, except she doesn't have any crit weapons yet. And uh, all three of these people do. So it's going to be one of these three. I'm thinking Dudu because high movement speed? And both Dudu and Annette are very survivable, so survivability plus movement speed is kind of my 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 end game here. Plus he does have a higher chance of critting, although that doesn't mean using our Wo Dao, which I said I should not be using because I'm broke. Well, I'm not I'm less broke now, so I guess it's fine. Two adjutants we can bring also, so let's bring Annette with Dudu to protect him, just to give him the absolute most offensive uh, abilities possible. The rest of them are attack ones, and I can't bring anyone because I'm flying. Uh, oh, we should bring someone with Manuela, I guess. Oh, it's a shame I'm taking Sylvain, actually, because if, if I could bring him as a healer for her, then she would get healed every time she was below 50. Actually, is it better to do that than have him on our party? I think it is, actually. Because that's, that's really handy. So let's bring him to be healing her passively. And then we can bring another heavy hitter, I guess. Dimitri or Mercedes. Or well, do we have other magic capabilities? Yeah, we've got Felix and Ash and Manuela's Hexblade. So we're, we're okay for magic. So I don't think we really need one of these. And because we're going to be moving quickly, it want, we want it to be someone who won't get blasted out of the water immediately. Actually, in that case, Ingrid is probably one of the better choices, right? Because she has the second best defense of these people, but also has the magic capability. So let's bring Ingrid in that case. Ready. Uh, time is going such that it is that we may not finish this this episode. We might get like halfway through and bookmark it, which would be the first time we've done that, I think, so far. But, uh, this setup is fine with me. Mm, let's put Ingrid up the front. All right, let's get into this. Defeat the enemy commander is our only objective. Violet Dimitri Hanneman or Manuela falls in battle. <laughs> Manuela's in a tough spot, Professor. Uh, so I noticed. Even if she's only got herself to blame, we cannot abandon her. No, not part of the plan. <laughs> we have plenty of visitors today. Let's stop their annoying rescue attempt. Man, this is just on the edge of the sealed forest. <laughs> we got a whole bandit hide out just this close to the monastery. Now that is a woman. <laughs> They've noticed me. Here they come. Oh dear. <laughs> That's such a messed up thing to say before going to cut someone in half with an axe. They've noticed me, and <laughs> she says, standing on like the in the middle of like a high podium. Oh dear, Manuela. To be clear, um, I would I would change absolutely nothing about Manuela. My I think turn. she's uh, my turn. I think you are absolutely perfect the way you are. But holy crap, you're about to die. Okay, so he's got insanely good magic and a few spells. So actually, we do have. Ma I completely forgot about him being a per person that we can control. So we do have a bit of magic capability here going into this. We're not totally lost here. So obviously, we could either go for the the leader instantly, or we could go and try and regroup with Manuela to make sure she doesn't die. I think make sure Manuela doesn't die is priority one, because um, we're not going to be able to really get up there super quickly anyways. So it's just going to be a long time of keeping Manuela alive for not much point. So let's, I guess, is there, we can, we can get everyone if we do it from back here, but then poor Ash is, is, is left behind on the, on the back here. But the thing is, the only person we're not getting this way is Felix, and Felix, if I, and if I do it from here, then I'm probably gonna have Felix just do it on Ash. So, it does it sort of the same either way, I guess. Let me do it this way. And, uh, Felix can more or less move his whole thing to, to dance up Ash as well. So he's gonna be kind of at the back here, but that's alright. Alright, uh, since do? to do is our most, um, is survivable, I say we put him at the back, run him all the way over to the back here. Oh, did you see that? Just him running across the whole battlefield. Oh, did you see that flip? Oh, that's so dope! I'm sorry. I didn't know that was a thing. Woo! Haha! <laughs> So I say we bring you a- Ah, I'm just gonna run straight through this tree. My, my my assassin training has given me the ability to phase straight through trees. And Annette's keeping a pace with him. That's pretty impressive. Look at her go. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Um, let's over here. I think uh, this is where we want. Whee! To take down you first. So we could probably do that with- Ooh, we could do it with almost any sword. Or rather, we could almost do it with any sword, but most- uh, um, Or most swords we could almost do it with. We, could, we have a guarantee to do it with this, but I don't want to waste the Wodao, because uh, even though we've got come into a bit of money, don't want to be too frugal here. And this this sniper here is not going to be in range of too many people, so we're probably okay to do this. 
Alright, uh, you can barely damage him and you have a poor chance to hit. You would do a lot more damage and you also get the poison strike if you hit. Why is that? Silver gauntlets to silver... Oh, this to the steel bow is just five. Okay, it's way more. Oh no, right, you've got bow fare as well. Okay, but you don't have fist fair or brawl fair or whatever it actually is called. All right, I can move me over here, but I'm still a little on the squishy side. Uh, but only the brawler can go after me if I uh, rush down the sniper. Oh, actually, I should have done that first because then I could have taken them out. And I didn't really think about that very well. Then I suppose I'll, it's probably better for me to dismount and start getting some damage on this one. Dismount for the purpose of not getting killed by the sniper. Go for a smash here just for the crit chance. Didn't happen, but no. Uh, oh, I got Crest of Flames. Why did you not? Why did you keep attacking? Maybe it doesn't work that way if it's on a combat art. Thought it did though. Stops counterattacks. I don't understand why they counterattacked, but whatever. Oh man, is that my, my my battalion almost gone already? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't heal it, fix them up, I guess. I was like, how did I take 40 damage? <laughs> All right, uh, you're defensive, so I feel cool putting you out here with fire. Push! Would have been smarter to do that first, actually, so Bile could get the takedown without taking a hit. Uh, Hanuman, uh, you don't have any long range magic, so just stay out of trouble, I suppose. Rally? What can you, can you rally magic? Ooh, cool. Do it on Felix then, I guess. And Ash isn't danced so he can or gambited because he's the one who with gambit, so he can't go very far. I'll save the physic for if we need to do it on Manuela. Oh, and Manuela, I can move Let's now. Um, well, I can attack from here. All right, I can use silence on these people. Uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. Part of me is ashamed uh, to uh, turn into Bo to Bonite because silence is a great spell. She has a lot of good spells, in fact. <gasps> Owie! <gasps> Your attacks mean nothing. This mage's cloak is extremely well aligned. <laughs> Owie! Done. Dun, 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 dun. The sword master's coming from behind, and I don't much care for that because these two are very squishy. Uh, maybe we can just overwhelm them with physical damage or magic damage. I meant. Yeah. Ah, oh, but both of them will still kill pretty hard. Okay, this is. I should have thought this better. Thought this through better, rather. None of you have gambits because you've got stride and you've got. Do you have a gambit by chance? Oh, you do. Ah, oh, okay. Well, let's do that to stun. Okay, my only chance of survival, really, unless bringing everyone back here, is to you to hit the gambit here. Take full advantage. And uh, now that they're stunned, you only get one of those, is that right? That's a shame. And you to take down this, uh, which you could probably do with some magic, right? Kind of gale. Yes, I guess do it from afar, just why I take the full risk. Yeah. The fight continues. All right, so mistake not all the way averted, but a little averted there. Who can reach Mon uh, Henneman? This person can, but they're not going to because of his high res, is that right? 27! Alright, good shout on them. So, um, okay. I made a mistake there, but I didn't have to lose a pulse for it, thankfully. Okay, um, what's my resilience like? It doesn't matter, because I can't Do mount mind. and then move in the same turn. My resilience is alright. It, it's like my defense. So I move to the other side, and then just, uh, finish with another fire blast. Seems I prevailed. Uh, between the two of us, to do has lower level, I think. Can you just take out with a bow so that you don't have to... No, it makes you take hit. So just do it with a training sword, then. Wonk! Oh. Eliminated. And I'll move up. Uh, if I move here, am I being attacked by the mage? Right. So do I have a hand axe? I've got a sword of the creator. That's the only ranged weapon I've got. So let's not waste that because uh, money is an important thing sometimes. <laughs> so I'll just park there. Now to move Manuel. Okay, so who, who is actually going to reach her? It's not you because you're not going to move. So that's fine. So all I have to take down is you, really. I should be able to find a way to do that. But if not, I can sort of um, keep away until Ash is close enough to heal. Although I've moved him back this turn, so that may be a little harder to do. Oh, are they not going to go after her? Are they going after us instead? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, there are more people on this side. That's not my favorite thing. Felix will survive if he blocks this, so I guess uh, I'll have um, him body block here while I bring everyone else back to help. How as well does he survive the magic? Uh, that's 12 from you. And then how much from you? 21? 12 plus 21 is what? 33. So he'll be all right. I mean, he won't be all right, but he'll be all right. And I guess just dance Hanuman to get him out of the way. And a level for you. Maybe this will make you slightly more resilient to all this. Uh, a little bit of dex and luck. We'll see. we'll see indeed. Alright, to do will be close enough to help because uh, he doesn't get slowed by terrain and I don't get slowed by terrain because I'm flying. So I can even go in the middle here. Actually, it would be smarter for me to try and uh, go a little preemptive here and do a little... I can even do a takedown here. Just do it with smash, sure. And then uh, use the rest of my movement to carry on a little. Uh, it's another mage coming after me, so I guess I better avoid that and go down here. You don't get as close as I would like, but that'll have to do. As for Manuela, I guess just stay there if they're gonna avoid you. Ow! Walk! Hopefully only the mage can reach you at this point, in which case everything will be fine. Fine is all relative, naturally. There we are. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh wait, this person did come up after Manuela. Okay, nice, good. Um... 
do, do, do. Oh, right, but she's got um, Sylvain, so she, every time she goes half below half health, she's going to get healed, right? Well, a set number of times, but healing by 18 when this thing is, is this one's doing 28 is not so bad. Is there anything I can do Hexblade with that would be better? Uh, okay, so if I'm naturally going to do four damage uh, times two with this, then if I throw a Hexblade out now, no, okay, so if I throw a Hexblade out, let's just assume they hit me every time. So then tw I take 28 damage and then it goes to their turn, they hit me with 28 and I die. So I can't do that. If I stay here though, you take eight damage, so then you're down at 36, and then I heal up to, I take 28 and I heal up by 18, so I only take 10. I'm up to 30 then. Maybe I can I can let you attack me three times to take. I take you take eight damage each time. So you're 42 minus 24 is 28. Sorry, 18. Which case, at which point I can finish you with the hexblade. So if I just bide my time and stay here healing um, with Sylvain's healing thing, I don't even have to use the vulnerary really. Then you'll eventually just go kaput. So that's fine. Still want Ash and the others moving up to heal you though. So let's take this down as quickly as we, uh, quickly as we can. Let's have. You can just take take down the, the mage like that, so do it. And perhaps I'll have Felix dance you to continue moving, because we do want you up the front. Although, are you able to take down this person as well? Uh, with the Wodao, yes. With anything else, not really. But because I'm flying, I can actually do something like... Okay, so how many movements is this? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can I can move up, or I can at least move... Well, because I can fly, it doesn't really matter if I fall behind, I guess. It, so in that case, let me just... Oh, uh, well, I can't just say, let me just go, because then Felix is going to die. So, okay, I'll throw a smash out with the training axe here. I didn't take any damage from that in response. Maybe to do while running up can throw an arrow back. Is that enough? Yes, it is. So do that. Very good. Ash can move up. Uh, can you physic anyone who needs it? Uh, physic up Felix from afar. Right. And you run ahead. There's some magic up there, but you'll manage it. Assist. What can I assist? Oh, you have physic too. Nice. Sure, throw it on Felix. Angered up to level 22. Some more defense will be good because that's been one of your strong points is your balance. Yes! My technique could use some polish. You keep saying that, <laughs> but you're, uh, you're among the most polished and balanced of us here. Rally her magic for more damage this next turn. Good, good, good. So you go, I go, ow, one, two of eight damage on you, I heal for 18 on my turn. My gambit's gonna go away though, so, the, though, so that might uh, lower my defense on Manuela. Thank you, Sylvain. Um, what is my battalion giving me? They're not giving me any defense, they're only giving me accuracy, that's that's cool. So I'm gonna hold here again, while everyone else runs up. Your attack speed is seven, uh, Hanuman Animans is 11 with the Sagitte, so you're only gonna get one hit of him, uh, on him rather of 36, and he'll survive that regardless. Cool. Unless it's crit or whatever. So I'm cool with doing this. He'll probably get two hits of Satch Day on you, which would, which would kill you almost definitely. And I moved him because I want uh, Dudu to be able to fire off an arrow here because that's the only thing he really can do this turn. Thwonk! Ow. I said ow for them. Just, you know, for empathy reasons. Okay, uh, Felix Kent isn't close enough to do much this turn, but I can get him a bit of XP if I just go here do nothing. Oh no, I could have done an attack there. That was stupid, actually and dance uh, me up. I could have uh, done an attack, wheeled back around there to have him dance me, and then done another attack, but this works. Okay, that does a lot of damage to me, so I don't really care to do it. So instead, I'll just finish this one here. Uh, does this person want to go after me? They want to go after Ingrid, I'm like, for reasons like beyond me. Um, I can lure this one to go after me instead of Hanneman, which is long-term probably better, because it gets me more XP and junk. What are your chances to take this person down with your massive magic? Oh, nice, 32. Can Ash do 12? Yes. So do that thing. Yeah. 77% chance is not perfect, but it will do. It didn't do. Who are you gonna go after now? Probably Ash, right? That's gonna end pretty poorly for me. Ow. One, two. Authority to D plus. Was that for Sylvain or her? Nice. And then just and just as a reward for that, your Kingdom Knights are now gone. Ow. Wonk. Wonk. All right, so Ash probably gets the bites the dust here. But I suppose I'll have to... Oh, no. They're going after me. Oh, they can kill me. That's why. So let's go back a bit here. Let's do the thing I said I was going to do here. Or I said I should have done. Take you out. And then move two down here so that Felix can dance us for another action. Which case we can uh, help a lot more with this situation here. Let's have the, ma the mages attack first, though, so that we don't uh, get ourselves killed. Okay, so they're... So actually, if, if Inger's going to do that, I can probably finish this with one swing. Oh, they don't have a great uh, chance to hit because of their axe breaker. Let me try it with Smash. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Each battle, a chance to grow. Chance to grow. Nice. Uh, I can lure you towards me now, just to carry this along a bit, and then Ash can now come up and heal someone, which is much more, much more useful turn than was happening. There we go. Very worried about this uh, Manuela situation. Ooh, nice dodge. That makes that easier because uh, there are flying units coming over, but we should be there in time to help. I think. Oh, one, two. 
Battalion's at max. Ooh, physical attack plus five, protection plus four. That's really, really good. Okay, how many turns till they get here? Actually, we're probably gonna be fine about this because they got like six. Oh, seven, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they're gonna be here pretty quick, actually. But I'll be there too. So, let me just move in and uh, wonk this out here. Wonk! <laughs> 32 damage. Man, I'm. She's going a little ham, Violet is. Right, because I've got Axe Fair now and the plus five from my battalion. That's sweet. Let's take them out. Uh, okay, so what's the safer thing for Manuela to do here to get away from the flying units? Would it be to just try and get around here? Because they're going to be close enough to hit her pretty soon. And how many can you move? It's four, so if I got you here this turn, then one, two, three, four. They're still going to be able to hit you with that. Your attack speed's 20, though, so they're probably not going to get double hit you. Ah, wait, hang on. Is that your maximum speed? No! Because your protection is, is the butt. 24 times 2 is, is 48, so any one of them could uh, take you down from full. Sort of seems like our only option then is to try and uh, rush up there and take them out before that happens, doesn't it? What are their avoidances? 49! So if I did a smash with a killer axe, for instance, it would be uh, 122 base attack, a ba or base chance to hit because my accuracy would be 10 less because the killer axe is 10 less. But then I would have a plus 35 and plus 20, so plus 55 chance to crit. 24 plus 55 is what? 79. What is their crit avoidance? It doesn't right, it doesn't specifically tell you anywhere. It's something like luck. I think it's just luck plus whatever bonus you get from the weapon. Ah, oh, and they're at uh, rank 5 of them. Okay, so it would be the vo crit avoidance of 10 plus 10, so 20. So 79 minus 20 is 59. I guess I could go for crits on them with Byleth. Um, my defense is much better than Manuela's anyway, so 34 is doing only 13 times 2 with me. 26, so I could, if I if I rush up and and uh, crit one of them, then I could survive two hits from the other one, maybe. Ooh, it's all kicking off here. But unfortunately, we're also all right out of time just now, so it looks like we're going to have to hold uh, off for now. We kind of got our, our, our talents hooked into it, though. And how many pulses do we still have? Oopsies. Five, so maybe we'll be all right, question mark. These two are gonna make it tricky though. So we're probably gonna finish this uh, episode, this next episode, I hope, and then uh, carry on to the next week and start another paralog. So we're gonna be in paralogs, in the paralog weeds <laughs> for a few episodes here, but by the end of it, we'll have just about done all the paralogs of the first half of the game, so. Well, I mean, all the ones that are applicable to us, anyways. Well, since Manuela and Tanuman have kind of been taking stealing the spotlight this episode, and because I love their dynamics so much, I guess I'll make the question sort of pertaining to it. So, if we were to take Manuela's and Tanuman's as archetypes, so one of them being the sort of slightly stiffer, a little more uh, prim and proper and clean, does things by the book, calm and level-headed type, or if you're a little bit more uh, wobbly all over the place, maybe prone to a vice or two, and uh, uh, closer to the hot-headed side of things. Which would you say of the two that you are um, much closer to? It's actually sort of a tricky one for me, because I, I do possess many qualities of both of them. I certainly, in my youth, was much more of a handyman. I was very much a uh, very, like, proper, took care of myself, and was all about rules and stuff. I kind of <laughs> stopped being like that at some point, because I was just like, man, this is a lot of effort. <laughs> I'd rather just sort of be flawed and be okay with that. So nowadays, I'm, I'm probably much closer to the Manuela side of things. I'm not too messy. I mean, I kind of keep a messy room sometimes, but that's more just because I'm I'm busy with multiple things. <laughs> don't, don't look at my room! <laughs> Although I don't I don't consider myself quite as, uh, as hot-headed as her in, in terms of I don't act without thinking as often as she does. Which again, is not a, is not a, is no, no slight to her character. I, I love you, Manuela. <laughs> you're my, you're, you're my favorite work colleague. No shade to Hanneman either, of course. I love you both equally. Anyways, uh, <laughs> here's the question. The next video, let me just check my little mini schedule here, is, um, uh, 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 right. I've already recorded it, and I had a good, great deal of fun, uh, recording it. A Breath of the Wild one-shot. That is to say, straight from the title screen to the end of the game. I rushed straight through from the tutorial just to fight Ganon, uh, with not much preparation whatsoever. And you can see the results of it <laughs> next time the, the video, the next video that goes up. So, that's great stuff. It was a very personal journey for me, and I enjoyed it quite a great deal because I love Breath of the Wild and I love Zelda. Anyways, so that's uh, what's going up next, which means just I don't have anything left to say. <laughs> it's the end of the episode. So thank you very much for coming around, and hopefully I will see you around. And we're gonna be out of here now. Peace. Swank, because we're almost done with this. Maybe Hobbies Hobbies will be able to finish it. Not quite. No crit. Here does not have enough juice. Right, because he, he was sad and he got hit. Of course. Uh, whatever, we should be able to manage it. Unless he does some super move now that kills us all. We just, with our normal attacks, we should be able to handle this. Will that do it? Not quite. Ow! Oh, this will kill someone.